the Osaka International Cancer Institute, formerly known as the Osaka Medical Center for Cancer and Cardiovascular Diseases, was founded in 1955 in the Morinomiya area of Osaka City. This was the first comprehensive hospital specialized in treatment for cancer and lifestyle-related diseases in Japan. Then in 1977, Dr. Tor Masaoka and his colleagues studied bone marrow transplantation services. In Japan, the dawn of bone marrow transplantation began in Kanazawa, Nagoya, and Osaka. In 1977, we succeeded in our first bone marrow transplantation. This marked the beginning of its history as a leading bone marrow transplant facility in the country. Subsequently, bone marrow transplantation through bone marrow banks was initiated in 1991 and non-mere ablative transplantation in 2001. In addition, many doctors joined our transplant team, including Dr. Shige Fuji, and now we have become one of the leading transplant facilities in Japan, performing about 80 hematopoietic cell transplants annually. We have three essential tasks here in OICI Hematology Department. That is, cutting-edge clinical services, education to young hematologists, and research for the future. We are currently providing hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and CAR-T therapy to 80 patients per year. In the short term, we are going to increase the number of beds to cover more patients and introduce new CAR T's for refractory lymphoma and myeloma. In the long term, we are eager to develop state of the art stem cell based therapies to overcome intractable hematological disorders. We are doing both clinical and basic researches with enthusiasm. Dr. Fuji is constantly publishing original research articles globally. Adult T cell leukemia lymphoma is an intractable mature T cell malignancy with various clinical features, etiologically associated with a retrovirus human T lymphotrophic virus type 1. HTLV1 is endemic in several regions, including the southwest region of Japan, Central and South America, Central Africa, the Middle East, the Far East, Central Australia, and Romania. Osaka was not an endemic area of HTLV-1. However, our group found a significant increase in the number of patients with ATL in Osaka during the last decades. Regarding ATL, once it progresses to an aggressive form, it is often difficult to achieve a cure using conventional chemotherapy. Our Japanese study group has reported a promising clinical outcome using allogenic hematopoietic cell transplantation in patients with ATL. We have published many papers on optimizing the treatment strategy incorporating allogenic hematopoietic cell transplantation in patients with ATL. Another critical issue is the difficulty of diagnosing ATL at an early disease stage as patients often do not have any symptoms. To solve this problem, we are trying to develop an artificial intelligence supported detection system of ATL cells in peripheral blood. It is our hope that the, this technique will be helpful for the technicians to identify patients with abnormal lymphocytes in peripheral blood, which would contribute to the early diagnosis of ATL. To facilitate the development of techniques relating to diagnosing and treating patients with ATL, we collaborated with many companies with the help of research grants from the Japanese government. This hospital is one of the best places for young hematologists to accumulate their experiences of cutting-edge cell therapies. Fortunately, we have young, ambitious doctors joining us every year after training periods, and our seasoned staff are doing best to support and extend their career. In the future, I believe that those young doctors will lead not only OICI, but also have significant impact 
in the hematology field nationwide and beyond. In addition, our department has strong ties with basic researchers working in the OICI Research Center, and currently we are pursuing several original researches with them under this collaboration. I believe that our efforts will usher in a new era of stem cell therapies in the near future.